Hey, it's Shreedy Beast again, and we're doing video tutorial 5 for the Legend of Shigen Gun. And just so everybody knows, my voice doesn't actually sound like this, but my mic is all weird, so it makes it sound weird. Uh, so, we're gonna do the tripod, and that, and maybe this thing, like I said before. So, file, um, oh, we're gonna start with this. So, file, no, add, mesh, cube, which I can't find. Okay. So, delete. Okay, so, and my cursor got messed up, so I gotta put it back there. Add mesh cube, scale it down. I'm just gonna add the mirror modifier right away. Um, before I even do anything, because it's a lot easier to do than making two of them. Uh, don't turn on clipping, because that will just like mess it up. So, in edit mode, if you move to the side, what do you do too? Okay, so now we have to start making stuff and put it back to vertices if it's not already on it. Just move this up to about there. Bring it up to be perfect. Move it back to there. Move you to there. Move this down. Okay, so we screwed it up. And you don't want to scale it at all, like. With some of the other things, you want to make it fast like with the trigger. Flat, not fast. Uh, so, yeah. I gotta stop saying okay like that. Okay, so then do control R so you can make the hole. And I'm gonna put a little more detail in this hole than I did with the other one. That's not the cheat code. Okay, so, yeah. Then just delete the face. Mm -hmm. And the vertices. F, 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 S, S, and we got it. So yeah, there we go. Control R, move that down a bit. Move this in. I don't think real guns have holes that are weird like that. So just make like a little rounder, a little smaller. I just made a video gun. That's what she said. Okay, so I almost did it. So close. And I'm halfway there. Halfway there. Okay. It's good enough. So the product looks like a gun except it's not really it doesn't look like a micro machine gun because it doesn't have the tripod and nothing like funny stuff. So what I'm gonna add now is a tripod. Mm -hmm. So add mesh Oh I know. Before you do that, uh click apply to the mirror modifier. Oh wait no, control Z. That's the guy. Now uh, just go back into the mode with this add mesh. Uh cube. Um do control R. Right click on it, then set clipping to on. Then delete half the cube. Uh, vertices. Okay, so what clipping does, it makes it so that if you move it, it's like automatically stays together. So I'm just gonna move it in a little bit. It's easier than scaling it down, even just drag it. Yes. So make it like a cube for a tripod. It's a real tripod, not a cube. Move it to where you want the tripod to be. It would probably be around here. And it's too thick, so scale it down a bit. And drag it up. And I'm just going to put the tripod back there, which is oddly placed. But I don't care, it looks better. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to add a little bit of detail. Like, it's not an accurate picture, but I just want to make sure it doesn't look so boring. So then what you gotta do, you gotta do uh control R about right here and then screw it up, drag it, rotate it, cause it'll be really really flat. And then drag it down a bit more. Then you should probably scale it down because it looks really thick. Well not like scale it down down, just sideways. And 
there you go. I pretty much dumped the tripod already. Because the tripod's really easy to do. Okay, so now you can add the mirror modifier. And you can apply the mirror modifier, which is kind of cool. So I think it's a pretty good tripod. It's a little short, though. Okay, so it's good now. No, it's not good. It has to be perfect. Perfect. It's the right spot. Okay. Let's see, rotate it just a little bit. So it's flat. It's fat. Flattish. Not fat. Flat. Uh, well, drag it up a bit. Extrude it down. Scale it in. So right now I'm doing that. Extrude it, extrude it again. Scale it up. We'll scale it up a lot. And just extrude it down. And scale that up. Okay, so. And that's pretty good. Yeah, so. Now I'm going to add this cylinder thingy. Which you pull back to load the mirror thingy. And I don't know. I don't really know what that's for. I don't know how those work, so. Yeah, no wrong thing! So then do add mesh cylinder, make it eight as always. Rotate it ninety degrees, scale it down, V, scale it some more. And I'm oh no. Yeah, you should probably move it out to one side before you start it because it's supposed to be um inside mirror over. Extrude, scale it down. Extrude it, extrude both it. And it's pretty much just like making the trigger except with the cylinder. You gotta rotate, scale it down to make it extrude. Rotate, extrude, rotate, scale down, extrude, scale down. Okay, so when you get here, and you're on this part, it's pretty much like making the grips on the handle. It's really easy. So just extrude it, scale it, extrude it. Scale it. Extrude it again. Scale it. Extrude it again. Scale it. I should make a song of that. Extrude and scale it. Extrude it again. Good scale it. Bow, bow, bow. And I didn't just do that. Okay, so you got it. You make it. You scale it. You extrude it. You scale it again. Extrude it again. Scale it. Extrude it. Scale it again. Extrude it. And scale it one more time. And it's not too big. Just a little. And there you go. You have a thingy jig. Uh, you gotta have to tell me the stuff in the back. And remember, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Yeah. When you extrude, you gotta end it where the color is, not just the vertices. Then you add mesh cube. It has to be really thin. Okay, then you gotta do it in the right place, which is down here, because it's what's next to to your stuff in the jig. Yeah, stuff in the jig. I just said that. Okay, I got a perfect dish. Perfect dish, not fish. What? <coughs> and I sneezed. You left me. Mm. Now we can get it off. Okay. So we'll move it up. Move it out like that. And there you go. And I'm just going to smooth that because it looks bad otherwise. So, okay, never mind. I'm going to unsmooth that. Uh, Actually, I'm going to subdivide to smooth that. Um, well, not the cube. Just like the rest of it. One plus smooth thingy. You want to be smooth thingy. And then I'm going to subdivide to smooth that. Fix some of the stuff that's all weird. And there we 
you go. It'd be good and fluffy. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now that's all I've, now all you have left to do is add this thing right here, which we don't really need, so I'm not gonna bother adding it. So all I'm gonna do next is add well I'm gonna dent this a little to make it look like flat because the body's all bony and stuff. I'm gonna dent that in a little. I'm not gonna add any of this stuff. Yeah, so Pretty much the main thing I'd love to do is dent that in and add materials. So, bye until next time.